The char in this area has uh, been here for, I guess, hundreds of years. It's very important for food source both summer and winter. Also, it gives people the uh, reason to get out on the land and, I guess, be who they are. In the uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s, families would come up, mothers, father, small children, they would come up here and commercially fish. Arctic char is the most northern freshwater fish species commonly found throughout the Canadian North. At present, very little is known regarding stock structure of Arctic char in coastal Labrador. And a large part of this project is building a genetic baseline or a map of genetic variation in Arctic char in the region. Understanding and conserving genetic variation among populations within a species is important because it allows the species and populations to adapt to changing environments and to other stresses. With increased access and presence in the north, increasing exploitation of Arctic fish species in the absence of a clear understanding of their biology threatens the stability and persistence of these species. For sample collection, first we select our sites, which potentially have Arctic char. We fly these systems via helicopter. Got a radar. FAA just up there where it starts to spread out. Touchdown. And select from portions of the river which are smaller and collect juvenile Arctic char specimens there. To do this, we use a technique called electrofishing, which passes a weak electric current into the water and allows us to stun and then collect the fish. Back in the lab, these samples are analyzed for thousands of genetic markers. These help us to understand what makes populations and individuals different and why they're important. It also provides critical baseline information that can be used in future years to better understand climate change impacts for coastal communities and this valued resource. People have uh, noticed in certain areas a decrease in the numbers of char. So I guess uh, in this area now you can take the knowledge they've gained, uh, whether it's uh, scientific or local, and apply it to areas where the char aren't so abundant. Places like this could have a big influence in decision-making at the end of the day. <laughs>